Welcome to The Medium. This is a horror adventure game by Bloober Team, the people behind Layers of Fear and Observer. It looks really good. It got pretty good reviews. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Let's just start a new game. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. And, well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. I played for a couple minutes before recording this. I just kind of walked around this house just to check the controls and make sure everything was working right. But yeah, I really don't know much about this game. I know, well, we're a medium. Not a surprise, given the title, I guess. There's some sort of like split reality system where I think you control or exist in two realities at the same time or something like that. Not sure how that works, but it sounds really interesting. And we have this like fixed camera angle, which ah, just gives me a very, I don't know, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil, so it makes me feel like this is going to be a somewhat classic survival horror game but it's not it's not a survival horror game i don't think but still i just love it it's really a really really pretty game it's 
a lot of medical stuff here. Also a lot of a lot of funerals. Many funerals. 3rd of October, the 16th, the 23rd. I see a biopsy there on the 16th of October. Surgery on the 5th of November. Kitty cat. Yeah. Nice to see you too. No, I don't want to go there just yet. That feels like the main area. Plus, let's save the cat for last, right? That's the best part. Oh, this game is set in Poland, by the way. I think the developers are also Polish, if I remember right. Interesting. This is the part I really wanted to do, but I didn't do it before recording. I went over here and I saw that it's possible to feed the cat and the cat food is on the counter. Now I finally get to Looks do it. Nourishing. I love this can too. Just that picture of the cat and oh, I love the design of that. Hmm. A or X to combine? I don't think we need to combine it with anything. Here you go. What's your face? Yay! Glad to see you're still kicking around. You don't even know their name? Oh. Can I pet the cat? I think that's the noise of getting an achievement. I can't see the achievements, neither can you. Who knows what it's called, but we got an achievement for feeding the cat. I can't pet the cat. What a shame. Okay, I really want to make an effort to pronounce Polish words correctly, so I just made a little cut and googled some of these words, and I'm going to try my best. The Good Morning Krakow newspaper. It is the 5th of November, 1999, a Friday. Symbolic funeral of the Shirsa Mine. Miners from the Shirsa Mine in Serbinia City carried a symbolic black casket. Candles were lit on it. This is not a mine funeral, say members of the Shirsa Mine Rescue Committee. The mine stays and we will carry the casket for the Vistula Coal Company, they add. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow as usual. They don't believe the Shirsa Mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, employees systematically brick up the headquarters of Vistula Coal Company in Tuhu. They lay one layer of blocks every day. Five layers left to the ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Today, the US President, George Clinton, delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall a decade ago. The President discussed the progress we have achieved towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe and the challenges that lie ahead. The President emphasized the US leadership uh, that U.S. leadership and engagement have been and remain critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has been furthered by one key achievement, by enlarging NATO earlier this year to include Poland, Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic. President Clinton and the other NATO leaders strengthened these new democracies and the alliance and ensured their contribution to the security of Europe. I get the feeling with this game that the political context of what was happening in Poland at this time is going to be really, really important. Those are some beautiful apples. Ah, it's a really pretty game. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, 
I seem to be having a little visual glitch. Yeah, this like box down here just keeps like flashing white. Weird. I want to take a closer look at these photographs. Oh, do we actually get to develop some photographs ourselves? I think we do. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, how do we do it? <laughs> do we just start from the right and go to the left? How to develop photos. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip and multi-grade for three seconds. Dip and stop for three seconds. Dip and fixer for three seconds. Okay, I think probably from the right to the left, I would assume. So we need to illuminate it for five seconds. We probably put it here. Turn this thing on. Is that five seconds? Uh, three seconds for all these steps. Jack. Shit. Mm. Oh, yeah. The carpet's being all weird, too. Hopefully it fixes itself. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. Is that a different cat, or did it just sneak over here and stop eating? Can I pet you here? No, but it does look at me. Oh, the cat's looking at me, yes. I want to pet it. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Ran a funeral home. That explains why there's so many funerals listed in their schedule. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. There must have been an there must have been some interesting things happening. Some interactions between the fact that their father runs a funeral home and interacts with the dead all the time, and the fact that she is a medium. I'm sure a lot happened with that. Oh. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? <laughs> you can hiss at me all you want, it's okay. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Oh, we're gonna use our powers for the first time to activate insight. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Is there anything else I could find with my insight? Just around the house? Also, what's in here? 
Oh, this must have been our room. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Oh, it's beautifully decorated. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Oh, so Jack adopted Marianne? My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Marianne, three years old. Initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area, suspected inhalation injury. Oh my God. Care management and stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. What the hell happened to you? Their family die in a fire? Same fire that injured them? And that's why they ended up at an orphanage? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we'd like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. Oh, I don't think we need to read the rest of that. Just blah, blah, blah. Talk to us. going to quickly check for anything that might be illuminated with our insight. Nah, I don't think there's anything. Let's just go. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides... If it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Yeah, I figured they practiced a lot with the bodies. Oh god, this is so pretty. Look at the texture on the wall. Just that, like, reflection and everything of it. Just, oh. So wonderfully atmospheric. And the sound of the rain and everything, too. This is such a gorgeous game. That flashing's really bothering me, though. I'm just not sure when the game is actually saved or not. So I'm gonna wait. To reload. the way that camera's snaking around the staircase. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. The last goodbye funeral home.
Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. Oh, here's the prep room. Weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Hmm. Okay, this is starting to get a little eerie. A funeral. Name of deceased to Adam Noak. Mm. Born in Krakow. Married. Died in a car accident. Jack, Mrs. Noak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Started the game, flashing's not an issue anymore. This is getting real creepy. Hey, Jack. Special clip? No. Where's your tie? Where is it? Oh, <laughs> it's just right there. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Oh, 
can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Oh no, <laughs> fuck. Much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no! I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I Jack. Know, I, I can't just what? let it go. Uh, it's not important. You, you are crying. Why is it so cold in here? Jack, where is that shh, 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 shh. Huh? It's okay, hey. Jack. Huh? It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get uh, some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? <laughs> yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Huh? Right? All right, Jack. Now, get uh, some rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I 
I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Mariette. Who is this? You don't know me, Mariette. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Mariette. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. The Niwa Resort. Ooh, I am intrigued. And they ride a motorcycle? Oh, that's badass. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. This place is really out in the sticks, huh? Even the road to it looked like it was really poorly maintained. The 
The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Oh, it's so pretty. God. It's old, broken, overgrown place. We're gonna be climbing over that. You wanna keep me out, Neva? Wait, I want to go back down. Doesn't seem like there's a run button, surprisingly. Anyone home? I guess not. What the? Hello? Thomas? Groundskeeper's postcard. It's like the category. Neva says, hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. Given what we saw in the, like, intro video just a minute ago, was this resort used to conduct the evil experiments on the people there or something? There's a lot of, like, mad scientist vibes in those videos. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Where's the you are here? Where are we on this map? Oh, there's a lake over there. I wonder if that's the lake that we saw in the very first video, the um the girl running running onto the pier and then getting shot by some guy. That's probably it, huh? gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Oh, this is such a fascinating setup. I love this. Ooh! Look at the little puddles in the water as we step on it. Oh, yes. I'm just completely taken in by the app, like how atmospheric everything is. The music, the visuals. I'm so into this. Has such interesting eyes. At least one of their eyes has two colors in the same 
iris. Like it's it's like split down the middle. The left side and the right side of the iris have different colors. K, Yeah, this is going to work for the first time. sure which one to look at. I just keep flipping between the two. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile waiting for someone to embrace it. That's what they said on the phone. That there's light left, only a little, but something. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Do I keep doing that? Wait, hold on. Hmm. 
On the left side, it's X. On the right side, it's A. Does it make a difference which one I do? No? In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? A spirit blast. Oh, that's the ball we just saw outside. That ball in the drawing. Is it open? Oh, yeah. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. did happen to you? That's odd looking. It's like black veins. <laughs> it looks like they were killed by a demon or something. these camera angles. Which way do I go, though? <sighs> Fork in the road. I don't know. Let's go this way. What the hell? <laughs> what?
The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. This game looks so good that sometimes I think that I'm watching a pre-rendered movie and then I realize, wait, no, this is in game. It's so good looking. Whoa. Listen to how distorted that ring is. Oh, it just doesn't sound quite right, does it? something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> so if we can get this open, we can... Huh? Mm hmm? If we get that open, we can move the dumpster over there and get up into the window. Neva Resort, Summer of 1969 Inauguration The first secretary of the Polish United Workers' Party, Comrade Władysław Gomułka, honored Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Neva Resort, the new center of the socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge area are comfortable yet simple, as simple are the socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and a committed party member, Mr. Rekovich, without whom the Neva Resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. 25th anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? This mark on the ground when we heard the laughing child. It was also over by the door that we need the handle for. I think they're using it as a like signposting, trying to help us. Also, why is there something so cool about just an absolutely dilapidated car? Can you use the word dilapidated with a car? A just messed up old car that is just like rotting and just left in an old parking lot for I don't know how long has it been here 
30, 40 years. Like just one rotting car in an old overgrown parking lot. That is so cool. That is so cool. Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Hope you don't mind if I uh, pop your trunk. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekovitz said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. Could probably use that to open the door. I guess. Ow! Whoa. Shit! What the hell? Oh, another one of those marks in the ground here. But there doesn't actually seem to be anything here. What are you trying to tell me, spirit? Broad horizons. New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones, the future of communication. Why, yes. Interesting how much the camera angles are bringing life, like bringing um, character to just simple things like running over that courtyard. Like you wouldn't have that if it was just the great dumpster heist of nineteen ninety nine. Like you wouldn't have that if it was just a standard like third person camera. The camera itself wouldn't be really giving you much character, but this does. I like it a lot. So, hold on, is there something in here? Nah, no, just, just dumpsters. Starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it.
search for Thomas. And this, I think, is a good place to end it. I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm really into this. I love this so far. So yeah, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.